senior than you and maybe more senior than you. Like, there will be people who are TAs in the program who have gone through this program and have some experience and they will assist you. There will be faculty that will work with you. But we should really all think about working together as a team. So we're not going to be, there's really no distinctions. I mean, that's another neat thing about mathematics. I think you'll find that mathematicians work together. It's not a, a, a subject that gets done in isolation. And when people work together, they just work together. There's no distinction. There's no seniority. There's no question about who's the senior author of the paper. Another interesting thing is one of the students that I, that I um, taught recently, she wrote her senior thesis with me. She's now at Berkeley, and she's communicated with me a lot. And she just recently had a paper published, which has her name as the first author in the paper. And I know that in her discipline, that means that she's the primary author. So I asked her, I said, yeah, are you the primary author? And she said, yes, I am. And then I told her, well, in mathematics, it's always alphabetical. She could hardly believe that. She said, isn't there going to be somebody who gets most of the credit? I said, no, that's not the way it works. Um, people work together, and there's no distinctions. So, and that's the way that you should think about the people that you're going to work with here. Um, we should be on a first-name basis. Uh, almost nobody ever calls me professor. I mean, I'm just Jim. So we'll work together, and, and that's just the way that we'll work informally together. Um, so there'll be so we'll identify ourselves and, and, and say you know what our backgrounds are and maybe what our status is in the program, but you should think of everybody else as just like another student. You will probably be learning at the same time that you're learning whatever whatever it is that you're trying to be working. With. So that's a nice thing about research. We're all going to be kind of you know gro uh, clumsily groping around trying to figure out what the answers to certain problems are. And uh, I I really enjoy working with undergraduates because my experience with them is that. They are far more inventive and more willing to take a chance and, and to do something that's stupid or looks stupid than even a graduate student or a faculty member or somebody that's more senior. And the result of that is that a lot of terrific ideas come out. Of course, of course a lot of bad ideas too, but that's, that's <laughs> I mean, if, if you're not, um, if your wastebasket is not filled with scratch paper, if you're not making mistakes, you're probably not trying anything. So that's. You should never be embarrassed about, I mean, some people have the impression that mathematicians kind of feel like, you know, math is a perfect subject that's right or wrong. And, and if you make a mistake, it's a disaster. But there's famous mathematicians that have published papers with errors in them that have meant that the ma major result is not correct. Um, you just keep working and you just keep going. So you shouldn't get discouraged by mistakes. You learn from your mistakes and I think you'll learn a lot from your mistakes. You try something and it doesn't work, well, you know something about what doesn't work in that situation. So that's the attitude that you should take this summer, is that, that uh, try everything. I, I had um, one of the people that I worked with had a nice analog of, of the way math sometimes happens, particularly with undergraduates. He described what he would say is maybe a, a little league baseball player in the outfield, and somebody hits a pop fly, and he stumbles around, and he stumbles around, and he puts his glove out, and the ball goes into the glove. Well, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> so so you were just stumbling around and you're trying to catch something. And if you catch it, that's really great. And if you don't, well, you're a little league baseball player, so you start again. Um, yeah, okay, so where was it? So I, my education and my um, work got me to here. Um, and I said earlier that I'm interested in, very interested in the subject of this summer program. I greatly enjoy it because one of the things for me that's so nice about it is that, I mean, I like to teach, I like to talk, and I like to to work with students, but I like to also have the time so that I can just think about mathematical problems all the time. I mean, you're not going to be doing homework, you're not going to be preparing for tests, uh, you're not going to be writing essays, you're not going to be doing set assignments. The whole time will be spent working on what you want to work on, and eight hours a day or 12 hours a day or however long you want to do it. You're not going to have any interruptions. You don't have to go grade papers, you don't have to go do a part-time job, you don't have to do anything else but think about mathematics. It may be the only time in your whole career in which you have eight weeks in which that's all you have to do. Even as a graduate student, you'll be a TA or you'll have some other obligations, but not now. You don't have any other things that you have to do. All you have to do is, is talk math and do math. So that's a really nice thing that I really enjoy about this program. Um, okay, so what else do I like to do? Well, um, uh, I really enjoy cycling, and running, and outdoor activities, and occasionally I play tennis, and hiking, um, just almost anything that gets you outside. Uh, I think Seattle is a great place to, to have an interest in the outdoors. So uh, those are the things that I like to do outside. I also love to cook, and you'll find that out later in the summer. So I'll try to have a party or two at my house. Um, I have grandchildren. I like to play with them, so I like to play. Um, just 
almost I'm sort of up for almost anything that anybody wants to do. Um, we'll, we'll have lots of activities that we'll organize this summer, and people can choose what it is they want to do. I mean, we'll, there will be some activities where maybe only a small portion will want to do it, and others may want to do something else even on the same day. Uh, there's lots of things that go on in the summer. For instance, uh, last summer, and I always try to do this every summer, there's a Gilbert and Sullivan Society that puts on a performance every summer. So last summer we went to Pinafore, and that turned out to be the theme, the theme for the summer in some sense. And so when students designed the t-shirt for the summer program, they ended up designing a Pinafore t-shirt. So in, at some point this summer, we'll design a t-shirt for the people in the program and, and uh, produce copies of that for you. Anyhow, so I'm, I'm interested in doing almost anything. And uh, in particular, I really like outdoor activities. Um, there's probably a lot more I could say, but uh, I want to have everybody a chance to go through talking about themselves and telling us what they're interested in, both, both mathematically and where they've gone to school and what their background is, where they're from, and so on. So why don't we just start over here and work over there? across? I'm Aaron Queensman. I'm from Seattle University. Um, I like outdoor activities. What else do you like to do for fun? I, besides I, I don't know. What else is there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I enjoy cooking. I play Ultimate Frisbee at Seattle U. So that doesn't really compare to the UW team, but it's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, cooking, being outside, playing sports. Uh, it's fun yeah, so it, the, the people from Seattle will have a, a good idea of things that are possible here. Those of you who are not from Seattle, there's going to be a lot of things I think that you're going to want to do that some of us haven't done before and some of us have but might want to do again. For instance, there's things like underground tour downtown in Seattle, visiting the aquarium or the art museums or a variety of parks to go to. So those are things that for sure some of you will want to do who have not been to Seattle before and we'll try to think of them. And some of us that have lived here for a long time have not done all of these things. So we'll probably join in too. Okay, so. Uh, my name is Paul, everyone. Uh, I come from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I, I will be graduating in the fall, and I also will have a teaching licensing in the fall as well. Uh, other interests, I guess, well, my main math interest is the number theory and algebra, abstract algebra, and fun things that I, I've been doing, uh, fishing for the summer, uh, but I haven't had a chance this year, and then uh, racquetball. Right, so you're going to graduate in the fall? Do you, yeah. are, do you have plans for the future? What are you going to do then? Uh, well, this is kind of helping me decide if I want to go to graduate school or go straight into teaching. So you might, so you have teaching certificates, so you could become right. a, I can a math teacher. Right, I can be a high school teacher, yeah, or I can go back to college. Not sure yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. I'm Eddie. I go to the University of Maryland. Um, I've lived in Maryland all my life, and this is actually my first time anywhere even near the West Coast, so <laughs> I'm pretty excited to be here. Uh, I'll literally be a junior in the fall, so I really have no idea what particular interests I have in math yet, so hopefully this will give me some ideas and put me on some direction. I think I do want to go on to graduate school, though. Um, as far as other activities go, I'm a big sports fan, so I'll probably try to go to some Mariners and Sounders games while I'm out here. Uh, you know, I'll play sports, too. Play some basketball, tennis, soccer, pretty much anything I'd be up for, though. Yes. So just in the uh, way of what you're saying, you don't know exactly what you're going to do, whether what your main interests are. Uh, another story about myself, when I went, started graduate school, I had no idea what my, only I did, I had a strong idea of what my interests were. And I ended up writing a thesis on, on a subject that I'd never heard of before when I went to graduate school. So when you go to graduate school, you may think, I like algebra, or I like analysis, or whatever. You're probably going to end up doing something that you Never thought. So, so even though you, you say you haven't found an interest yet, that's okay. Uh, even if you found one, you might change it. You probably would change it. Gracie? So I'm Gracie, and I go to school here. I'm going to be a senior in the fall. And um, I'm kind of currently breaking up with a communications major. Um, <laughs> um, outside of math, I kind of forget what I like doing during the school year. I like going to the park and playing on the swings. And 
Um, I, I like reading when I'm not in school. And I, I think right now my favorite math subject is abstract algebra, but that's also pretty much the only hard math class I've taken so far. <laughs> so. And you play some sports? Um, I was on a co-ed soccer team during spring quarter with almost all math majors. <laughs> but did that mean it was a good team or a bad team? <laughs> <laughs> we won one game because the other team didn't show up. <laughs> Um, you have been dedicated well, girl, that's what I've learned. <laughs> you have to have one woman on each side. No, we had to have at least three girls oh, to play. Oh, okay. So that's why I got invited. <laughs> I keep getting invited to the ultimate frisbee team, but oh. I'm the, I can be the girl. <laughs> Oh, okay, because I'll start. Um, I'm Courtney. I'm from the UW. I'm actually a little bit south of here. I'm very, really from in Tacoma, which no one likes, so don't worry <laughs> anything about it. Um, so I recently graduated in the spring, and then I was a double major in math and finance, so I'm kind of the odd person now in that sense. And in terms of mathematics, I really enjoy sort of the probability and stochastics. And then I did a senior thesis on optimization, so I'm also interested in that. And I'm going next year to Cornell, which I'm excited about in terms of with finance. So not really math, kind of. You know. And uh, what do I like to do? I like to swim. Um, I also like badminton. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. So if anyone's a badminton player, I will play them. Uh, I don't know what else. I like to Cycling. Read. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, sort of. I'm not. I can't ride a bike, and so <laughs> they're making. Tomorrow has been trying to get me to ride a bike and teach me, and so I finally can get on a bike <laughs> and go in a circle. <laughs> Stopping is still a challenge, but we're getting there. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I like to do. Jack. I'm Jack. Um, I'm going to be a senior teacher <coughs> next year, um, and I was in Jim's complex anal or analysis sequence this last year. Um, I think I am the odd one out because I am also a comparative history of ideas major. Um, yeah, which means that I like to I like to read literature and philosophy and talk abstractly about things that probably doesn't interest anyone else, um, which is fine. Um, outside, outside of school, I uh, I also play ultimate. Um, I brought a disc. Oh, nice. um, <laughs> I like to cycle a lot because uh, that's my my only means of transportation here in the city. Um, and I like to listen to music. Uh, I like going to live shows. Um, I was at one Saturday night. And that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm Zach. I'm from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, where I've lived since I was like six. Um, in terms of math, I like uh, geometry and topology. And I also like computer science and physics. Um, outside of academics, I, I jog a lot. I've started weightlifting recently. Uh, I enjoy that. And I play a lot of video games. But uh, I have a computer here, so that'll, that'll stop for a couple months. I'm James. I'm from Bemidji, Minnesota, first city on the Mississippi. Woo -woo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I go to school at the University of Minnesota Duluth campus, um, just a few hours away. And I really like graph theory, abstract algebra, like a lot of people here. Um, I'm actually doing a research project next year. Next year, I'm going to be a senior, and I'm doing some stuff with um, Markov chains and music. I'm a music double major, so. Percussion is my primary instrument, but I've been taking jazz piano lessons too, and that's been really fun. So, sure. I'm Jerry. I'm from here. I'm going to be a senior next year. Um, what was it? Oh yeah. Uh, I my interests in math are probably somewhere, some type of analysis. I'm not sure which one yet, but um, outside of that, I really like chess. Do you have any outdoor activities you like? Uh, I used to I'll play go chess. <laughs> <laughs> chess in the park, the best type of chess. <laughs> well, I also, I mean, I used to play baseball and basketball, but got busy. Yeah, we can get together a softball game. We'll do things like that. Will you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it's better if I do this. 
Let's see, so I'm William Stein. I'm a professor here like Jim, and uh, I arrived here in 2006 after being at UC San Diego for a year, and then Harvard for five years before that, and then Berkeley for five years before that, and then Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff for five, four or five years before that. And um, I'm directing the number theory quarter of the REU, so it's like about four of the people in the room plus some grad students. And, uh, and my interests are mainly in number theory and in software, so writing uh, software for doing mathematics. Um, for example, Sage is a project that I started a couple of years ago. Um, and you'll hear more about Sage later on in the week, I think tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So, um, let's see. Uh, and my outdoor activity is skateboarding, and that I skateboard Extreme half pipes a lot. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I like half pipes and bowls and stuff like that. Um, okay, Anything so. else outside besides skateboarding? Uh, snowboarding? Snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Anything on a board? Yeah, There's pretty no much. Nearby, so. No. I used to windsurf a lot, but that's not really... You can go down to the club. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. you can surf here. You just need a dress. It's cold. Yeah. 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 It's really cold here for surfing, so... I went hiking the other day, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, my name is Rado. I'm a guest here only for the first week. Um, I graduated with a PhD from University of Illinois, now I'm a postdoc in Singapore, and I'm a Sage developer, so I can help with... And number theories? And number theories, yeah. My, my PhD is in number theory, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, on the Sage project, I'm working on the notebook, so if anybody wants to... That's basically a web app in Sage, so if anybody knows more about web development or wants to help, talk to me. And I can answer all sorts of Sage and Python questions. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have questions about Sage if they want to get using it. Okay. I'm Ali. I'm a grad student in number theory here. Um, I'm one of William's science students. And my interests are number theory and again, Sage. Um, so I mainly just do more math, number theory related development. And I will be here all summer though. So you can ask me questions all summer. And um, I like almost anything outdoors. And I'm really into music. My minor was performance saxophone. Where'd you get your degrees? Oh, um, my undergrad degree is from Kansas State, and then I've just been here. You're from Kansas? Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Simon Spicer. I'm also a grad student here, younger grad student, just finished my second year. Uh, in math, my interests are number theory, computation, and recently been doing some stuff in complex analysis, too. Uh, I believe I'm the only representative of the African continent in this department. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. So if you ever, if you ever want to know more about Africa, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there like yesterday or something? Yeah, no, I just moved <laughs> in last night. So. And, and for fun, what do you do? For fun, uh, a lot of cycling, quite a bit of running so far. I don't have a car either, so these are my primary modes of transportation. <laughs> I played with Ellie on the Ultimate Frisbee team in the math department. We made it to the quarterfinals in the last quarter. Um, uh, also, a girl shirt for the summer, so we don't get to play. Oh, cool. Um, I also play squash, although apparently that's not such a big sport here. <laughs> always struggling to find a squash partner. Um, yeah, and also happy to do anything outdoors. Hi, uh, I'm Tim. I'm from Duke, but I actually was raised here up in Local Tio. Um, I'm a rising junior. I'm also kind of odd because I'm a math and philosophy dome major. Um, I think it was like Eddie who said he was a rising junior too. So like I haven't, I'm still kind of like figuring out what I want to do, how to make specific interests. I took PDs last semester, so that was pretty fun. I like that. Um, in terms of like what I like to do, I like outdoors activities as well, like hiking, canoeing. Um, I got into lifting also pretty recently, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a <laughs> University of Washington canoe club that you can join. Yeah, I, I went and, there like last week. Yeah and, yeah, and you can take the canoes out. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. And also the kayaks. You can take the kayaks out. <laughs> I've never done kayaking, but it hurts, it hurts well. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, let me like, move so everyone can see it. <laughs> My name is also James. Uh, I go to Rice University, rising senior. Um, I was actually born and raised in Houston, so and it's like 100 degrees there right now, which and personally very human, very human which personally I, I love. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like uh, outside of math. I like to run a lot. 
um, especially when it's super hot. So this is a little weird at being cold. Uh, <laughs> not really cold, but not 100 degrees, which is like perfect. So you like running in 100 degree I weather? I love, like that's the perfect time, like oh. 2 in the afternoon. Like, that's the worst. <laughs> that's the best, <laughs> best time to go running. Well, you better go back to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get you got to 102 like like two years ago. 103, and that's the day I tried to do the ramp. The all-time record for Seattle. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, I like analysis a lot in math. Um, I don't. I'm not very good at team sports or anything that really requires a lot of coordination, which is why I run a lot. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm Matt. I'm from University of Arkansas. I'm gonna be a senior. I really like PD theory, specifically in Clifford analysis deals with the Dirac equation. Um, so my background's pretty good just in PEs in general. And outside of math, I really like disc golf. So I playing that. Not so much ultimate though. Sorry. But yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, hey, I'm Harrison. Um, I'm from LA, but I go to school in San Diego. Um, I guess algebra is my favorite subject. I guess it's made the biggest impression on me. This kind of crazy professor. Yell at us. UCSD uh, or? Yeah, UCSD. UCSD. Okay. Pesky, oh, yeah, I know him pretty well. He's a number thirst. Yeah, he is. He yells. Uh, he's Romanian. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty intense. He's, uh, yep, he's very loud. Yep, yep. Um, see, outside of math, I like to, uh, I guess I like to ride my bike, but only on strictly flat terrain, no hills. <laughs> 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 Do you have a bike here? Uh, no, I don't have a bike here. I wish I had one. Maybe it's a unicyclist. What's that? Maybe a unicyclist. Because <laughs> then they would prefer flat Check out Recycle Cycles. You can buy a used bike for the summer, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be handy. I mean, it took me, like, quite a long time to walk here in the dorms. Um, so. <laughs> one minute. Alright, um, I'm Ashla. Uh, so. I'm a rising junior as well. I go to Princeton. Um, I'm from India. I am um, interested in number theory, geometry, stuff like that. Um, apart from math, I do um, play tennis, I swim, um, I sing, so a bunch of things. Oh. <coughs> um, I'm Will. Um, I just graduated here. Um, I guess I'm one of the TAs. For this. Um, <laughs> you, better, you better know you're one of the TAs. Yeah. Um, He's afraid to identify himself because you might ask him too many questions. Yeah, so I grew up around here, um, just like north of here, 10 miles. And um, and yeah, I graduated here like a couple weeks ago, with a, or a week ago, with a, um, in math and computer science. And I guess my interest in math might be more like algebra or topology or Geometry or logic, which is like everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty undecided, yeah. Um, and my interests outside of math, I guess, are um, like hiking and um, reading books and juggling, among other things. Uh, my name's Alex. Um, I'm from Dallas, but I go to Texas A&M. Uh, I'm going to be a junior in the fall. So I haven't really figured out exactly what I want to do, um, but I'm a physics major as well. Um, so I been kind of thinking lately I maybe do quantum computing, something like that, or writing algorithms for that. Um, outside of math, I used to play a lot of sports until I tore my ACL. Um, so now I just run because you can't really tear your ACL that way. <laughs> um, that's about it. Um, I'm Ben. Uh, I go to Brown. Um, I'm a rising junior. Uh, and I think in math, my interests are mostly in number theory and algebra. Um, and let's see, I'm interested in tennis and biking. I just recently got a bike from Recycled Cycles. Okay. Um, <laughs> you don't have to hurry because they sell out quickly in the summer. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a pretty good deal, I like to think. Um, and so I'm, I'm from Seattle, um, so I'm going to try to ride my bike in. Hi, I'm Andrew. Um, I just graduated from UW a week ago. Um, I guess in terms of math, I, I'm into number theory and computational aspects of that. Mm -hmm. um, and outside of math, um, I don't do much outdoors, but I like to hike um, and camp. Um, those tend to be more involved and a drive away from here. 
so I don't do those that frequently. But I love to socialize and just talk for hours. Do you have a car? No. So <laughs> makes it, it makes it even harder. Yeah, that's that's we'll have a shortage of cars this summer, but we'll try to figure out how to get you know we'll a short uh, to to certain places so we can go hiking and get into the mountains. And I guess I forgot, but um, I grew up in California, Iowa, and uh, most recently. I'm Kaya. I go to Seattle University, so I'm close. I'm originally from Colorado. Um, in terms of math, I have interest in abstract algebra and number theory and graph theory. Like I'm here. Um, outside of math, I like to run, I like to swim. I play on the ultimate friendly team at SU as well, and hopefully we'll play. Hi, I'm Elliot. I'm a third year grad student here at UW. I also grew up in Colorado, but I didn't go to school in Colorado. I went to school in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, so I'm studying probability here right now, and I like a lot of discrete geometry and probability, and also continuous limits of, of discrete objects. Um, I'm more of a friend of the RAU. I'm not on the list. You're welcome to email me if you'd like. I'll, I'll get you on the list. Okay. <laughs> I make lots of mistakes. Like I said before, errors are okay. I'll get Elliot on the list. And what do you like to do? Right, right. What do you do? Um, <laughs> so I, I like I like outdoors activities. I like uh, hiking um, and swimming. I like uh, soccer a lot. I don't get a lot of chances to play. I also play on the ultimate team, though I wasn't the best attender this, this year. <laughs> I also like getting Courtney to ride her bike. <laughs> I'm just trying to get Courtney to ride her bike this summer. <laughs> she may have to ride her bike this summer. That's right. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm Justin Tittlefitz. I am one of the TAs also. I'll be here for, for six weeks or something like that. Um, I'm kind of from all over on the West Coast. I got my bachelor's degree from the University of Oregon, and I just finished my fourth year up here. Um, I am in inverse problems, particularly those dealing with uh, wave equations. So thermoacoustic tomography is what I'm interested in. Maybe I'll give a talk about that later this week or something. Um, outdoor stuff, I like to cycle also. Um, camping, uh, kayaking is another thing I'm interested in. So. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but you have to pass a swim test in order to do that. So maybe we'll organize people to go down there um, so on Sunday mornings or something for people that are interested. And um, Justin was in the RU program? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2006. Will was in it last summer. Uh, Jerry was in it last summer. So there's three people. Some experience with ideas that you like to look at. Everybody said their thing? Okay, um, let me take a short break. People